What's up? My name is Matthew Frizzaglia, creative In Time Fitness. Today, I have a 10 minute kettlebell full body blaster coming at you. We're gonna dive right into it. We're gonna start off with a warm up, 20 seconds each movement, three movements. All right guys, jumping jacks in three, two, one, here we go. So first round, nice soft light on the toes. Just gonna get our body moving, understand where we're at. Shake out the cobwebs, feel what's going on with ourselves. Good, 15 more seconds with this jumping jack. We're gonna go into an inchworm to a push-up. All right, we're gonna start to load up those hips, the upper body, here we go. Get ready, inchworm to push-up coming up in three, two, one. So feet wide, soft bend in the knees. We're gonna walk it out, high plank position. We have a push-up, walk it back in, extend the hip, hinge the hip back, feel those hamstrings lengthen, hands hit the floor, walk it out. Back down for that push up. Good, walk it in and rise. Nice, keep it up. Good, big inhale to the floor, big exhale as we push up and away. Good, let's get two more. Good, if you ever need guys, drop to those knees for those push ups, right? That low option is always there. Good, last one, we're gonna go into an air squat. Here we go, in three, two, one, stand it up, air squats. Feet outside of shoulders, butt back and down, chest is tall. Sit deep into those heels, knees driven out. Feel those hips load. That's it, good. Keep it up, we have 15 more seconds. Round two coming up, get ready. Good, five more seconds in four, three, two, one, jumping jack, let's go, round two. So round two, wanna to start to pick up that pace. Start to create intensity by pulling your arms up and pulling your arms down. Nice and light on the toes, bending the knees. Remember, the second round, you've already been there. So now we wanna challenge that pace. Good, you guys, good. You're gonna hit that intro with a push up. 10 seconds. Get ready, here it comes. Five, four, three, two, one. So again, intro and push-up guys, second round, soft bend the knee, really hinge at that hip, feel those hamstrings lengthen, hands hit the ground, walk it out, we push you up, flat spine, hinge the hip through the top, and repeat. All right, always focusing on a nice flat spine, try not to round over, you know, on that turtle shell, right? Nice flat spine, controlled, tight, strong. That's it, good. 10 more seconds. We're gonna finish off 30 seconds of those air squats to wrap up this warm up. Five seconds to get one more. Four, three, two, one. We're on our feet and 30 seconds of air squats. Guys, last 30, here we go. Final round, let's try and challenge that pace now. We go down fast, we come up fast, but we still create control. We keep the integrity of that movement. Good. We go last 15. Stay with me now. We're almost there. Warm up's coming to an end. Your body should start to feel good. Start to feel warm, loose and mobile. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. First block of work. 30 second intervals. First movement: goblet squat. All right. So we've already ran through that squat. Now what we're gonna do is load the body with a kettlebell. So. Feet outside the shoulders, butt back and down. Drop the hip, lift the chest, drive through the heels, clean the bell right up. Bell sits in front of our chest, shoulder blades are back and down. Big deep breath in, we squat all the way down. Push through the heels, extend the hip on that way up, right? Thinking about keeping tension through our upper back, keeping the weight loaded back over our heels. Nice control, tight core, allow us to control that kettlebell. That's a good 15 seconds down, less than 15 to go. All right, 10 seconds. We're gonna put the bell on the floor about an arm's distance away from us. We have a push-up to kettlebell tap. Get ready, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Bell's out in front of us. Come down high plank. So push-up position, tap the bell, right? We go push-up, tap. Push-up, tap. So hold focus here, yes. We're challenging that upper body, but now we release an arm, focusing on our core, right? Our stabilizers, we don't want to rock the hip or rotate, push the hip high. Keep it tight, keep it controlled. That's it, good. 
Five more seconds in four, three, two, one. We're on our feet, we're going to gorilla row. So wide base with our feet, rolling your elbow back, squeezing the shoulder blade, controlling back to the floor and right back up. Good, we wanna focus on our shoulders and our hips in line, no rotation again. Just like that push up to show, uh, plank tap, focusing on anti-rotation here. We don't wanna rotate the shoulders. We're focusing on our core and our back here. So nice and tight, nice and controlled. One rep into the next. Nice strength movement here, focusing on the upper body core. A lot of hip tension here too, if you feel it. But we have five more seconds. Good, four, three, two, and one. Nice. So. 30 second rest here. We're gonna go right back to the top, do that all over again. This second time around though, we're gonna spice up that kettlebell goblet squat, right? We're gonna make it a goblet clean to a squat. So a little more dynamic, give it a little spark, right? So what that's gonna look like, feet are outside your shoulders, butt back and down, we drop the hip, lift the chest, drive through the heels, we clean it up, then we squat, come back down and reset, all right? Here we go, join me in five, four, three, two, one, 30 seconds, let's go. So we clean, we squat, we return, reset. Back here, shoulder blades down, chest tall, nice deadlift position, shoulders over toes, drive through the heels, extend the hip, and repeat. That's it. Good, always focus chest up. The brand on your shirt should be facing yourself in a mirror if you're in the mirror, but a nice long spine with your chin tucked. That's it, guys. Here we go, we're going back down for that push up to that kettlebell tap in three, two, one, kettlebell out in front, about a shoulder, arms distance away. <clears throat> Here we go, ready? Big deep breath in, <sighs> tap. <sighs> Good, now the second round, you've already been there. Now I want you to think as we come up, can you add a pause? Can you create tempo, which will make more of a challenge over time, right? We have five more seconds, give me two more. Come up, hold, three, two, one, last one. Three, two, one, on our feet, back to those rows. All right, this time again, tempo creates challenge. Come up, hold, squeeze, control. Up, hold, squeeze, control. That's it, good. Really focus on pinning those shoulder blades back together. Nice and tight, bracing the core, controlling that kettlebell back down on the floor. That's it. We're almost there, guys. You have 10 more seconds. Last five, four, three, two and time wow all right guys second block of work is done we're moving into our final block four minutes as many rounds as possible so we have three movements 10 reps each our first movement is going to be kettlebell swing real quick demo looks like this feet are outside of shoulders knees are slightly bent we're hinging at the hip we're going to hike the bell through our high hip once the bell's through our high hip we're going to extend squeeze our glutes and our thighs standing up nice and tall allow the bell to float up we're gonna return back to the floor from there. Just like we did in the push-up tap, we have a plank tap. So down on our forearms, feet wide, glutes, core, thighs are tight. We're gonna reach out, tap, tap. Each tap will be one rep. And then we'll stand it up. We'll clean that bell back up as we did for that goblet clean. And then we have a lateral lunge. So bell's at the chest, big step out, butt back and down, chest is tall, sitting through that right heel off leg long. Stand up, right to the other side and we repeat, all right? So four minutes, as many rounds as possible. Do your best. Let's get after it. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Starting off with those 10 kettlebell swings. So again, we're hiking the bell through, we're standing up nice and tall. I want you to think about standing up against a wall at the top, soft bend in the knees, hinging the hip back. Feel those hamstrings engage. Breathe. That's it, good. We turn that belt back to the floor, step back, then we drop it down for a plank. So in that plank, shoulders are stacked over our elbows, feet are wide. Again, we don't wanna rock that hip. We want the body nice and tight, stable, controlled. So we reach out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. So again, just like that push-up, guys, control that body, stabilize that core, and we're gonna clean that bell up with that lateral lunge. Now, side-to-side -side movement. Big step out. 
There you go. So the whole goal in that lateral lunge is trying to sit back as deep as you can, loading that heel, aggressive, powerful push up and away. There you go, five right, five left. Good, halfway. Good, nine. Last one, you go right back to the top. Here we go. You got those kettlebell swings. So if you need, <clears throat> take a second, shake it out, breathe. But always reset yourself up, set yourself up for success on that next round. Our feet are wide again. On that hike, guys, you wanna sit low. Wanna be strong here. Load the hips, not the lower back. That's it, good. Think about a nice flat spine. Tuck that chin. Don't allow those shoulders to drop below the hips. We return the bell down the same way we picked it up. You hit that plank again. So on that plank this time, if you need lower option, always find a drop to those knees, take some tension off the core, but we always wanna keep that hip extended. So we're loading our abdomen. Always an option for everybody. Do not worry, you can always make it doable for you. Good, here we go, five more. Right back up, lateral lunges. Now at any point in time, if this weight becomes too much, guys, get rid of the weight. Body weight is just challenging enough. So just remember that if you can't use the kettlebell anymore, dish it to the side, you have that lateral lunge without any weight. Options are always there for you, but it depends how hard you're pushing yourself. If you get to that point, totally fine. But just remember, you don't always have to use the weight if it gets to that point. All right, we have less than one minute now. Try to get through as many reps as possible while maintaining good control, posture, and form. But we still wanna challenge that body. Come on, 40 seconds. Let's get one more set of swings in there. Here we go. Shake it out, reset. Let's get right back into it. Here we go. 10 reps, guys. Good, final round. We want to hold on as long as we possibly can. You have less than 30 seconds. Here we go. Dropping it down to that plank. Let's get right into it as best you can. Here we go, 10 seconds. Four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Wow, awesome work, guys. Way to go. That's a 10 minute burner for you. Short, efficient, we hit head to toe. Thank you for working out with me. We'll see you next time.